heat and phases of matter in uh, the innate studies our text talks about uh, matter exists in three forms solid liquid and gas and then it goes on to talk about heat as a form of energy and I want you to think of heat as molecules in motion uh, the more the faster those molecules are moving around the more heat energy it has um, and how this relates to uh, solids liquids and gases is in when matter is in a solid form it has less energy in less heat energy the molecules vibrate but they vibrate in place and they're not bouncing all over the place um, with a lot of energy as they transition into the liquid form those molecules become more free and start to bounce around amongst each other and that's what gives liquid its its form because it's a little the molecules aren't locked into place it has more energy and more heat and then um, vapor or gas the molecules are um, they contain more energy than those of the solids and the liquids and they start to bounce move faster and faster and further apart and they start to break away from each other and um, expand into the area around them and the other thing is cold is the absence of heat and remember heat is a form of molecular motion and molecular energy so the absence of heat is the lack of molecular motion now uh, one of the things that we need to know about in heating and air conditioning is sensible heat as far as what as refrigerations are concerned and sensible heat when is uh, is heat that when it's added or removed you can measure it with a thermometer it causes a change in temperature now latent heat this is where the refrigeration process really happens and latent heat is the heat that is absorbed or released when there is a change of state so for example when water is boiled from liquid to steam the heat energy that is absorbed to cause the water to turn from liquid to vapor is called latent heat now that doesn't you can't measure that with a thermometer because as you know when you boil water um, it's 212 degrees but all that heat energy that's being absorbed from the burner on the stove is um, used to convert and change the state of the water and it takes a large amount of um, molecular motion heat energy that that are that's absorbed to change the state of water from or any substance from liquid to vapor and then all of that heat that is absorbed in that change of state is released when it changed from changes from vapor to liquid now let's take a look at this chart here this gives us um, a chart on a uh, cube of ice and water and we start down here at zero degrees Fahrenheit so we have a block of ice that is well below the freezing point and as we begin to add heat and it follows this line right here from point one to point two you can see that th this scale down below here is the heat content in BTU it only absorbs about 16 BTU to change temperature from zero to 32 degrees and that is sensible heat because we can measure that with a thermometer right here zero to 32 degrees now once that ice reaches 32 degrees and more heat is added the temperature remains at 32 degrees from point two to point three and this is where it's changing state from a block of ice into a puddle of water and if you look here it absorbs about a hundred and forty four BTUs of heat for that block of ice to change state from solid to liquid now you can see it takes quite a bit more energy from point one from point two to point three than it does from point one to point two this this represents sensible heat this flat line re represents change of state or latent heat now once we hit liquid at point three we again start to go into the uh, sensible heat phase where we continue to add heat to the 
to the water and it starts to heat up in temperature from 32 degrees and as we add this heat energy it rises up to 212 degrees here at point 4 and you can see here it doesn't require quite a bit very much heat energy to rise that raise that temperature from 32 to 212 degrees now that we have our water at the at 212 degree point it's going to begin to boil and that's where it changes state from liquid to vapor and we're now back into the latent heat phase and it maintain, <coughs> maintains its temperature of 212 degrees as it changes from liquid to vapor so this whole line right here represents water boiling 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 from liquid into vapor as long as there is liquid it's going to remain at 212 degrees and this is where in air conditioning especially that we absorb a lot of heat in refrigerants when we boil them off because you can see it takes a tremendous amount almost a thousand BTUs of um, heat energy to convert that and change the state of water from liquid to vapor this is our latent heat line here when we get into the at point five we have now all term, turned this water is all into vapor and if it's in a container instead of floating off into the air and we continue to add heat then the heat of the steam will become superheated and it will continue to rise in temperature that you can measure with a thermometer and that's your sensible heat so that's what you need to know about latent heat sensible heat and we'll talk a little bit more about um, saturation temperature density and specific volume here in another video.